Hello everybody, it's Carly from cookingwithcarly.com and today we have another crumble taste test and this week is pink week. So before we get into talking about what these cookies are and how they taste, um, two, two, three items of business, three. First, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching it on Instagram, follow me. Uh, second, Comment below, let me know which flavor of these you want the recipe for, and I will do a copycat recipe for it. And number three is stick around to the end, and I will let you know what video is being published tomorrow with a brand new recipe, and it is a cookie that we've had within the last couple of weeks. So, super exciting stuff. All right, so Pink Week. Let's talk about them. So this is the pink velvet cookie, which I'm super excited about because this is one that people have requested, but I haven't eaten it yet. So needed to try it before I can recreate it. So what it is, is a pink cake batter flavored cookie. And then this is a cream cheese frosting, vanilla cream cheese frosting. And then there's just some like pink crumbs on top, which I'm pretty sure is just like these cookies like crumbled up. I'm excited to eat this one. Which, by the way, my taste is back. Hallelujah. I feel like we should have a moment of silence. Put my taste buds. All right, next up is the pink donut. So it looks to me like the cookie was baked in like some type of form or something. And then a hole was cut out of the middle after it was done baking. So it's a vanilla sugar cookie, pretty sure. And then it has a vanilla pink glaze on top with some sprinkles. This next cookie. Okay, I'm actually really excited about all these cookies. This one though, I am super stoked about. I love chocolate anything though. Cutting off my head. This is a chocolate strawberry cheesecake cookie. So it's a chocolate base. There's semi-sweet chocolate chips in there. And this is a strawberry cheesecake-esque uh, topping. Frosting, not topping, frosting. There you go. So this one is served chilled. The rest of these are served warm. And then this one I'm super fascinated with, okay? This is the Ruby chocolate chip cookie. So it's like the original chocolate chip cookie, but it says it has hints of almond in it. So I'm wondering if there's almond extract. Can't really tell by the smell. And then these are Ruby chocolate chips. I've never had one of these, but they're chocolate chips. They are like this purpley color. And apparently, like it is chocolate, but they taste fruity. I don't know, I've never had it, so I will let you know. Okay, let's just go for this one. Let's do it. Let's start with this guy first. Dun, 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 dun. Where's the camera? Okay. I'm really excited about those. Okay, right, here we go. I don't get fruity. I maybe just need to try some of the chocolate. Okay, maybe I do a little bit. I mean, this is a really good cookie. I would say that they are more like white chocolate tasting than anything. The cookie base is good. I'm not thinking that there's any brown sugar in it just by like the color of it. That's a solid cookie though. I enjoy that. I feel like it's nothing like I've ever tasted before, which is fun. The Ruby chocolate chips, I looked in to like buy them on Amazon. They're pretty expensive. But I mean, I do it for you. I do it for you if you want me to. All right. This one is served chilled, but it's not super chilled because I had to drive home. So it's a super dark chocolate cookie. I like more frosting than this, if I'm being honest. All right. I'm not getting a ton of the strawberry, but it is a really good cookie. I love the chocolate base. It's a super dark chocolate. 
super fudgy, almost tastes like Oreo-y. Is it? I wonder if there are Oreos in this, or you know what, I bet it. It looks like to me that they use the um, black cocoa, like we use in the Oreo cookie. Black cocoa in there, semi-sweet chocolate chips, and this frosting on top that's not super It's a nice balance. Not super cheesecakey, like cream cheesy. Not super strawberry. It's really sweet, which I like. Overall, I think that's a good cookie. And the donut cookie. Try this out. Me. Not my favorite. Tastes just like a vanilla sugar cookie with a vanilla glaze on it. Nothing fancy. I mean, it looks fancy, but the taste is not anything like crazy. Pretty basic, I feel like. And then it is time for the pink velvet. That's good. The cake batter with the cream cheese, vanilla cream cheese is a good combo. So I have the cake batter flavoring. You can get it on Amazon. You'll want, um, Loran's is the brand. I can link it. Um, cake batter flavoring and it's like super strength. It's super good. I'm definitely going to have to make a copycat of the pink velvet. Definitely. Okay. So let me know in comments below which cookie you want me to recreate. And I will get to it as soon as I can. I have a list like this long. Um, which fun fact. I wrote down a list of all the cookies that I wanted to bake this week. Last night. They've just been in my brain for a while. And I realized at the end that if I baked a full batch of all of these cookies, I'd be using 19 and a half cups of butter. My neighbors either love me or they're going to be really sick of me and cookies real soon. But anyway, cookie recipe for tomorrow is the churro cookie. So this is one that everybody loves and has been wanting me to do for a long time. And so that's done. It will be ready tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Mountain time. So get ready for that. I'll see you guys next week.